Using logic forms, you can create powerful and great looking forms easily. This tutorial explores how to use themes to change the style of your forms. Let's open the sample form in the form designer. New forms are styled with the default Logiforms themes, but you can easily change that to match your website or company colors. Click the Theme and Style Editor to launch the Theme and Style Editor window. This is where you will do all the styling of your form. At the top of this window, you have your Master Theme menu, and a button for each element that can be themed. The elements of your form that can be themed are the page. These styles control things like background colors, headers, footers, and borders. Panels. Panels are decorative elements that you can use to group fields together. Panel themes apply to these elements. Fields. Field themes define the caption font color, field font and size, and related settings. Tooltips. Tooltip themes determine how tooltips will look on your form. And buttons. Button themes define how the form's buttons are styled. Master themes are a collection of settings that apply to all the elements on your form. Logiforms provide several high quality master themes that you can use to quickly change the look of your entire form. Let's take a look at a couple of these themes now. As we switch between the master themes, the entire form look and feel changes. We're applying that master theme settings to each of the themable elements, such as page, panel, field, tooltip, and buttons. We can also update just a single element style. Let's take a look at how we would change the page theme from being used. First, click on the type of element you want to work with, in this case, page. This loads that element's settings into the settings grid. It also updates the sub-theme menu and the preset menu options for that element. The sub-theme menu contains the various sub-themes for the selected element. Each sub-theme is unique and has its own set of settings and options. The preset menu is a collection of preset settings that you can quickly apply to the current sub-theme. Let's select a few so you can see how they change the layout. Notice how only the page settings are getting changed while the fields, buttons, and panels are all staying the same. You can edit any of the sub-theme settings within the property grid. For example, if we wanted to change the background color of the header, we would simply select header and then select background color. You will see the color change in real time. If you need to add a graphic, that's easy too. Just go to the header graphic and select the graphic icon. You can upload your own graphic or choose from a large selection of icons. If you're happy with the settings and think you may want to use them on another form, you can either save the individual page settings or save all the settings currently used for the page, panels, buttons, etc. as a master theme. For now, let's just save the preset settings for the page. Give it a name and then select Save. Now you can use it on any of your other forms. Keep in mind though that these settings are saved under the page element and the simple border subtheme. With these two selected, you can find your created preset under your custom presets. Next, let's make some changes to the button theme. The property grid and the subtheme and preset menus are updated with the button settings. Off the shelf, Logiforms provides a number of good looking button themes. You can browse through the various subthemes available by selecting subthemes and then selecting the various themes. For each subtheme, there are presets that further vary the subtheme. In this example, the various presets are colors that can customize the buttons on your form. If we want to customize further, we can edit the settings in the property grid. For example, let's edit the submit button. We can change the background color of the button as well as the font color. Now we can save this as a preset for later use with the CSS3 button subtheme. But for this example, we're going to save all of our changes as a new master theme. When this new master theme is applied, the changes we made to the page subtheme and the button subtheme will be applied. To see how this works, let's switch our master theme back to the default. Anytime we want to theme our form using our saved master theme, we can just click the master theme button and under your custom master themes, select the appropriate theme. And voila, the page layout buttons, and everything else defined in our master theme is updated instantly. The final thing we want to explain is the concept of ad hoc themes. Ad hoc themes are sub-themes applied directly to a single element on your form. For example, let's say you add a button to your form. By default, the button inherits the style from the master theme. But what if you wanted it to be a different color? In the elements property panel, look for the theme option and change it from the default inherit to the selected sub-theme you want to use for this element. 
back in the theme and style editor, you can now edit the theme settings for this single element. Notice the title of the property grid panel includes the element's name and indicates that it is an ad hoc theme applied to that element only. Anytime you want to edit that individual element's theme, click on it on your form and the theme and style window will be updated to show the ad hoc settings. Click on any of the element types in the theme and style editor and you'll be switched back to the master theme. You can apply ad hoc themes to any button, panel, or field on your form. But what if you just want to change the caption color of a single field? For small style changes to fields and captions, you don't need to go through the whole process of creating a new ad hoc theme. We've provided a simple way to apply those settings. Just click on the field you want to style, and the Field Style Override Settings panel provides quick access to common styling options to make this easy. The last thing about themes and styles is that they cover all the graphical and style elements of your form. They do not cover the margins, paddings, width, and height settings. These settings can all be found in the Field Layout and Alignment Properties panel. The only exception to this is for the page layout. To change the width of a form, you would go to the page element in the Theme and Style Editor. And then, in the Property Grid, find the Outer Container Group where you can edit the width of the form. With the Theme and Style Editor, you can point and click and use one of our professionally designed themes, or dig deeper and customize your form right down to the pixel.